tasks, a few queries are very slow and they present sometimes locking and blocking. After investigation, I found that the, some of the tables involved have over a thousand columns wide. Could column store indexes be the low hanging fruit for now while we normalize the database? No, if you are uh, because locking and blocking, typically when people say that, it's inserts, updates, and deletes. Usually that's mixed in in the workload that it's two writes that are blocking each other. If you're having plot problems with uh, writes and reads, then you want to check out RCSI, Read Committed Snapshot Isolation. If you go to brentozar.com slash go slash RCSI, uh, we've got a great uh, write-up on there with resources about how you go about learning that and implementing it. Uh, but if you're thinking that you're going to reduce blocking between two writers, column store is probably not going to be the answer that you want. Despite the fact that the, the, each column is stored independently, the problem that you're going to run into is that when you try to update rows, SQL Server won't know what row group they're in. You can learn more about that in my column store fundamentals class. Honestly, though, I wouldn't take that. Take my word that column store isn't going to be the solution for you. If you don't believe me, go spend, you know, 90 bucks on my column store class. But otherwise, go hit brenozar.com slash go slash RCSI. That one's totally free. So go hit that one instead.